Well, welcome to week four of W233. Can you believe it? The semester is moving along. Uh, January is nearly over. All right. Um, that said, uh, you really need to be uh, in item five this week of your learning module. This is where all your work is. And I have had a few questions as to how do you know what you're supposed to be writing about for your journal that's due next Monday night, okay? That is in item 5.5.2. Gives you all the details of your journal, okay? I'm expecting four, <laughs> four, four quality pages of quality writing, four full pages of quality writing, properly formatted. Properly formatted means that um, you double space everything, never double double space anything, that your font's 12 point, that your fonts are easy to read fonts such as Times New Roman or Arial. There's not a lot of room for other fonts when you're doing uh, professional uh, business or um, uh, academic papers, okay? And that um, all your uh, paragraphs are indented half an inch. Please use the paragraph command. Never ever use the space bar or the uh, tab key to create paragraph indents. It takes a long time to do it, and you can always tell, and it keeps your papers from looking professional. It's in the paragraph command of Word, and then all you have to do once you set it up is just press the Enter key each time you want to do a paragraph, and it automatically jumps down to a new paragraph. So please pay attention to formatting. I want to tell you a little secret about college. When you turn in a paper that looks professional, okay, the profs already pre-prejudiced to thinking that he's going to read a good paper, okay? If you turn a paper that looks sloppy, that isn't properly formatted, that kind of thing, profs, he or she is predisposed thinking, hmm, this student doesn't know what they're, what they're doing, okay? So, you know, it's, it's time to uh, uh, man up on these kinds of issues, okay? So, that said, the purpose of the journal, one, I want to make sure you're doing the readings, okay? I very, very carefully have selected the readings for this class. As you know, I've not incurred upon you the cost of a textbook, okay, because I found some really good readings elsewhere, all right, but I was very selective, so I want you to read them. Not all the readings are easy. If you haven't read them by now, you have your work cut out, okay. So the readings are back in uh, the very beginning of the learning module, okay, but the actual work and the details of how to do the work is in item five of the learning module. Um, that said, so you have four pages there that's due. Uh, the assignment drop box is right there in item 5, okay? The assignment drop box for the journal is item 5.3, all right? Then you also have your topic proposal due. You've been working on your discussions. Uh, you've been going through them. If you've not gotten any feedback from me, my apologies. There's tons of them. Uh, you're, uh, uh, I have given some feedback, I know, earlier on. So get your, get your topic proposal out there. Nail it down, okay? And then I want to see two full pages of uh, why this is the right topic for you and once again I want to properly format it. So these are all brainstorming exercises and these are all critical thinking exercises and causing you to do this writing to get you to buckle down with your thinking. Okay, And it also gives me a chance to see if we have any writing issues. Can you write in paragraphs? Do you understand how to write in paragraphs? Do you understand how to write the topic sentences? All right, Do you understand focus? All these things are covered in W131. Okay, So this gives me a chance to look at your writing and say, hey, Here's, here's what I need to do to tailor the course specifically to you. So it should be kind of fun, all right? I'm not looking for any particular tone or style. Uh, this can be lighthearted. It can be, this is all reflective writing, all right? This is very, very reflective. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to look inside your brain, okay, and see what's going on in there. It's a lot of fun for me, so I enjoy reading these. And of course, I enjoy particularly reading your uh, topics. So uh, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I'll be uh, going through the discussions this week. Everything needs to be turned on time, in on time. The course starts to pick up in speed and intensity, and the projects get more complex. All right? So we need to be moving you along, and that's, that's the method to my madness here. This course unfolds carefully in a fashion that keeps you doing the work so you can't procrastinate. Procrastinators get Fs in this course. Okay? Truthfully, you cannot procrastinate in this course without getting an F. I guarantee it. Okay? taught this course for a long time. I know my way around in it, okay? I know, you know, what to expect from you guys, uh, you ladies and gentlemen, and it's important that you not procrastinate. It's important that you trust me, all right, that I know how to deliver this course in a fashion that actually causes you to learn something and causes you to turn in an excellent research paper at the end of the course on time in which you actually get a good grade, okay? That's your goal. That's my goal. So, hey, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me.